Hi, and welcome to this demonstration of the Valto's pre-built Leave Request Power App system. Our system is built with Power Apps and Power Automate, which means it's easy for us to deploy it directly into your Office 365 environment. The app can be used both through the web browser, embedded into a SharePoint intranet, accessed via the Power Apps mobile app, or embedded into a Microsoft team, as I'm going to be showing you today. This is the home page of the app where I can filter through the different leave requests I've already submitted by either by status or by category of the leave request as well. So I can look at ones which I've submitted as holiday or where I've submitted from working from home. Once I select a particular request, I can see the full details of it on the right hand side. I can also choose to cancel my request at any time. To create a new request, I can click on the Create Request button across the top, which is going to take me to the new request form. Now, we can have uh, different types of leave, including holiday, which has an entitlement. So everybody has a starting entitlement at the beginning of the year, which is then deducted as you take leave with through the system. The system also allows for other types of leave, such as tracking sickness, authorised absence, and working from home, and these three categories would not have an entitlement. We also can track time off in lieu, which is abbreviated to TOIL, which does have a separate balance of the holiday. So you can add uh, more time off in lieu, say if you're working on a bank holiday or over a weekend, and then you can use it as a separate uh, balance to then pull days off in lieu. Once you've selected the type of leave you wish to request, you can then select the start and end date. Um, you can then also choose whether or not it is a full day or a half day. So um, we can track these in both uh, AM and PM slots. Once we're happy with uh, this, we can provide some details. So I always tell people it's worthwhile putting in a bit of detail about what the request is. So at the end of the year, you can go back and see how you spent your leave. So I might say uh, this is a day off for shopping, for example. And then when I click on the submit request, that's then going to submit this to my manager for approval. My manager would receive an email, which would then contain an approve and reject button um, that they can approve or reject my particular request, as well as they can see details inside of the request to show if there's any conflicting days off. So if a member of my team has also got the day off at the exact same point in time. Other uh, pages inside of the app, we've got things like the leave balance. This is going to show me my full entitlement as well as who my leave approver is and any particular other types of leave that I've taken in this current year period. It's also worth mentioning that we can adjust when your um, calendar year starts. So if it aligns to a financial year, we can then make it start and end from any particular month. One of the other pages is company holidays. So this is where you can track all the company holidays, the bank holidays that your um, organization adheres to, as well as anything else like maybe a Christmas shutdown period. There's a My Employees page, and now this is going to show you all the employees that you are the approver for. So if anyone was to join or move between different teams, it's very obvious within the app who it is that you are responsible for approving requests. And then there is another page for the employee requests themselves, so we can go in and we can, we can see the different requests that have been submitted by my team members. We also have an about page, which essentially will help your employees understand what the difference is between the different categories of leave. And we can update the different types of leave, and we can also update the text at the bottom so that people understand what, um, the, the, for example, the holiday entitlement is. And you might even want to link to specific policies that live inside of your intranet from this page. All of the data that the application uses is stored securely inside of SharePoint. We then have an intranet portal which can then navigate us to that data. We have tabs such as calendar view, which is then going to show us in a calendar view all the requests that have been previously submitted. And it's ideal for people to check this before they submit their own leave requests to check that they're not conflicting with any other team members. As administrator, I can also see a tab here uh, which lets me configure the system so I can change the entitlements and who reports to who and who approves different um, leave requests. I can set the public holidays and I can also access all the leave data that's been previously submitted into the app. So I can see all the different leaves and I can filter these down by particular people or time periods, um, for example. 
I might want to extract out all the sick days that have been submitted to this particular database. So I click on filter by and then select sickness. And then I can see um, all the sickness requests which have been submitted through to the system. I can click on the export to Excel button, which then puts all that data directly into a nice Excel document for me.